two wireless titans, Zigbee and Z-Wave. They power millions of smart homes around the world, but when it comes to Home Assistant, which one should you trust to run your automations? Today, we're putting them head to head for the ultimate showdown. Let's check it out. Choosing the right wireless protocol is one of the biggest decisions you'll make when building your smart home. Pick wrong and you might deal with dropouts, delays, or limited device selection. Pick right and your home assistant setup becomes rock solid, future-proof, and effortless to expand. Let's start with the fundamentals. Zigbee is an open source standard running mostly on the 2.4 gigahertz band. It's designed for flexibility and has a huge ecosystem of affordable devices, from sensors to bulbs to switches. Z-Wave, on the other hand, is a proprietary but tightly standardized protocol. It runs on sub-gigahertz frequencies like 908 megahertz in North America, giving it less interference and excellent range. Its strict certification process means devices generally they just work together. Let's talk some quick specs. Zigbee supports larger packet sizes and higher data rates, but can suffer from interference from Wi-Fi and Bluetooth because it runs on 2.4 gigahertz. Z-Wave moves fewer bits per second, but its reliability and mesh networking are legendary. Specs are one thing, but how do they perform in the real world with Home Assistant? Both are fast enough that you'll never notice a delay. Now for range, Zigbee devices rely heavily on routers, usually powered by devices like bulbs or plugs to extend the coverage. In a dense network, they're rock solid, but a single weak link can cause headaches. Z-Wave, thanks to its lower frequency, often penetrates walls better and maintains more stable mesh even with fewer devices. And what happens when something disconnects? Home Assistant logs show Zigbee devices sometimes take a bit longer to rejoin the network, while Z-Wave tends to recover more gracefully. Device availability is a big factor. Zigbee has a massive catalog. Temperature sensors, motion detectors, bulbs, buttons, you name it. Someone makes it, and usually at a very budget-friendly price. Z-Wave catalog is smaller, but leans towards premium gear. Rock solid smart switches, reliable locks, and devices with advanced configuration options. You usually pay a little bit more, but you're buying into reliability and better interoperability. In short, Zigbee saves you money if you're building at scale, while Z-Wave is an investment in quality and stability. So what should you choose? I say go Zigbee if you're an open source enthusiast, love tinkering, you want the most devices for the lowest cost, but go Z-Wave if you're building for critical automations where reliability matters. Think locks, security, safety devices. And here's the secret most people overlook. You don't have to pick just one. Home Assistant lets you run both Zigbee and Z-Wave side by side. Many advanced users build hybrid networks. Zigbee for sensors, lights, Z-Wave for locks and mission critical automations. That way you get the best of both worlds. So Zigbee or Z-Wave, or maybe both. The best smart home isn't about brand loyalty. It's about building a system that works for you. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more Home Assistant deep dives, and drop a comment. Which side are you on for the Zigbee versus Z-Wave showdown? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.